I cannot do another video. Jason. Yeah, what's up? Record the video. Okay, 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 okay. Hey folks, Pastor Jay here from Know The Truth. Has anyone ever challenged you when you speak of Christian martyrdom? Well then, have you ever explained to them that as an unbeliever, they are responsible for aborting millions of Christian babies every single day? If they seem shocked by this, it's probably because they're not members of the satanic organization called Planned Parenthood. In this video, I'll be giving you a short list of why the Obama-funded Planned Parenthood should be banned in America. Anyone who has watched this video, okay, I dare. Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, to watch these tapes. Watch a fully formed fetus on the table, its heart beating, its legs kicking, while someone says we have to keep it alive to harvest its brain. The first thing on the list of reasons why Planned Parenthood should be banned from America, and the most obvious, is they talk about vaginas there. Not just any vaginas, used vaginas. Now as we all know, there's never a reason to go to Planned Parenthood unless your vagina's been used. Want to know something even grosser? I heard from a very close friend of mine, who's not a virgin, that blood constantly comes out of vaginas. Like all the time. Who has time for that? And Planned Parenthood acts like this is a normal thing. If you ask me, I think Planned Parenthood Parenthood is part of a global conspiracy to wipe men from this planet so women can bathe in their own blood in order to keep themselves looking youthful and vibrant. That's kind of like what Elizabeth Bathory did. Not that men like myself want in on this blood cult type thinking, because as we all know, the only blood that I'm bathing in is the blood of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But you can never tell with these women folk. This is why we don't let them make the decisions, fellas. The next on our list is abstinence only education already eradicated sex. To confirm this, I asked the boyfriend of of our local priest, who's 25 years younger than me, what sex it was like during his time at elementary school. He told me that a guy came into his classroom one time with a gun and said, don't have sex. Bravo, man holding the gun. Bravo, indeed. This is the kind of well-rounded, informative, and empowering sex education that has eradicated all sex. Thanks to you and other celibate justice warriors, nobody has had sex in a very long time. Don't believe me? Do some research, atheists. Religious conservative states have zero teenage pregnancy pregnancies, zero STDs, zero child support payments, and zero abortions. To continue to fund sex education and reproductive health care in a sexless society would be like funding women's awareness in today's society. But instead of women, it's just their dried up vaginas and blue balls. No one's pork and cut the pork. The next one on our list is STIs are a figment of liberal media's imagination. I have been hearing a lot of noise about how Planned Parenthood tests for and treats STIs. But what is an STI? you ask. It's a firearm company. Not only is Planned Parenthood telling people how to have sex, now they're trying to take away our guns. No way, Obama. Not this time. Next on our list is giving women control over their own bodies sets a dangerous precedent. Planned Parenthood plays an integral role in ensuring that women have control over their own body and reproductive rights. This is a slippery slope, my friends. If we ensure that women have access to safe, comprehensive reproductive health care, what are they going to want next? Vote? Have opinions. Tell us no when we force ourselves on them. Buy land. Talk. Think. What if a woman gets a hold of a Planned Parenthood brochure while she's making a man a sandwich? What if then she realizes that she can make her own decisions and decides not to make that man a sandwich? Who's going to make the sandwiches? Listen closely. If men can't control the female species, then what's the point of getting up in the morning? Think about that the next time your stomach is growling. Next on our list is teens don't need so much information. Right now, teens can go to Planned Parenthood to get accurate information about sex, birth control, and reproductive health. They can ask any question they want, and a compassionate and educated healthcare provider will give them the answers that they need. Can you believe that? Everyone knows that you can get all the answers that you need about sex in the Bible. But I'll spare you all the details and give you the answer right now. The Bible says sex is immoral, unless the husband is giving one of his wives her conjugal rights. Back in my day, the only information that we needed about STIs, birth control, or sex was close your eyes and hope for the best, oral doesn't count, and butts or mouths 
cannot get pregnant. The next on our list is abortions are way easy to get. Sure, many states have one or two abortion providers, and many Planned Parenthood health centers don't even provide abortion services. And thanks to a slew of new legislation, it is now impossible to get an abortion without waiting 48 hours, much like getting a gun. Planned Parenthood basically provides abortion on demand. You can even order them online, I've heard, which is not okay. Next on the list is Planned Parenthood is run by feminazis. Does Planned Parenthood provide services for men, like STI testing or cancer screenings? Yes, they do, but only if they ask. According to a men's right activist thread I read on Reddit, Planned Parenthood is really just a front for the feminist agenda. You wanna know what else I learned on that MRA thread? Fedoras are pussy magnets. In other words, these guys know what they're talking about, and they say women shouldn't talk so much, especially stuff they don't know about, like sex and vaginas. Will anyone ever listen to the true victims here? Men. Next on the list is cancer is not a big deal. Planned Parenthood talks a lot about how it does screenings for many types of cancer, including breast cancer, testicular cancer, and cervical cancer, or all woman cancer if you ask me. They make cancer seem like such a huge deal. If you ask me, Planned Parenthood is owned by a chemotherapy corporation just to make a few extra bucks. Just eat some gluten-free, GMO-free, vaccine-free, and glucose-free food and you'll be all set. The last on this list is unplanned parenthood is the backbone of every great society. Do you know what it takes to make a country run truly great besides religion? Turning women into baby making machines with no choice in the matter, denying accurate sex education to young people, and ensuring that women cannot have access to abortion even if it will save lives. Planned Parenthood is standing in the way of all of these things. And that's why we must shut it down now. God bless America and Donald Trump. First of all, do you acknowledge what every fact checker has found that as horrific as that scene is, it was only described on the video by someone who claimed to have seen it. There is not no actual footage of the incident that you just mentioned. No, I don't accept that at all. I've seen the footage and I find it amazing, actually, that all these supposed fact checkers in the mainstream media claim this doesn't exist. They're trying to attack the authenticity of the videotape I haven't found a lot of people in the mainstream media who've ever watched these things. I mean, they will claim somebody watched it for them. I will continue to dare anyone who wants to continue to fund Planned Parenthood watch the videotapes. And anyone who wants to challenge me first is going to have to prove to me that they watched it. Thanks for watching. Love.